Today we're gonna to review the Imperia Level 2 EV Charger. I'm charging my Teslas off-grid with this unit and it's the first non-Tesla charger I've ever purchased. Also, this is not sponsored. Everything I bought from this company is with my own money and they've never contacted me before. So the cheapest way to charge only a Tesla is to use their mobile charger and then use a 240 volt adapter, such as this NEMA 650 or a NEMA 1450. Now this charger works well, but it only charges Teslas. And this year, I think there will be new EVs that might be a little bit better in some ways. Um, I'm personally tired of Tesla, the service department, the times they get parts, the quality control, and also failure of major drive components on the first 280 miles of owning the vehicle. So I'm trying to get away from Tesla and all of their stuff. So I went on Amazon and there were hundreds of EV chargers to choose from, but this company in particular, I've been using their monitoring system on one of my panels for the off-grid solar power system. I never reviewed this and I bought it with my own money and I should have mentioned it more, but it's a great unit. They have an app and it shows consumption. It's very accurate. I've never had it not connect to Wi-Fi. So I thought, hey, I'll just try out their EV charger. And this thing actually works very well. And it has a very good internal build quality. They even use ferrules. Um, the board looks really nice. Like it's a high quality little unit and it's at a good price. It's $399 and it does level two charging for me up to 41 amps for a Model S Plaid. Now this charger was very easy to install and I absolutely recommend this for beginners. It was much easier to install than the 50 amp level two Tesla charger. Um, for me, it took a little bit longer because I had to add this plug right here. Um, before it had a NEMA 1450, which a lot of people have and use for level two charging, but I prefer the 650. It just has one less conductor and it's very easy to wire up on these terminals. And I can still charge my Tesla and other EVs, which is really cool. Let me show you the adapter that I'm using. So it comes with a typical J1772. And then this adapter, which came with two of my Tesla so far, you just attach it right here and you can charge your Tesla. And so far it's worked great. I've been charging every day with only this charger. Now most people would mount the charger right here, have the cable coiled up, and then it has a little mount for this charging handle. Personally, I like to have the cable on the ground and I like the charger far away. And so whether the car is parked this way or facing that way, I can still charge it with this cable and I don't have to unravel it. So for me, I think this is just faster. Now these devices are very simple and there's not a whole lot that we can test. And so far this has been very easy to use and I think a lot of people would be happy using it. But if you disagree and there's some other feature that I'm not realizing, please let me know of a better EV charger. And that's pretty much it for this video. I will talk to you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching. Bye.